Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine and in this video we will talk about toenail fungus. We are going to talk about the causes, symptoms, treatment options, basically everything. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Onychomycosis is a common fungal infection that affects the toenails. Here you see an example. It typically causes the nail to become thickened, discolored, yellow, brown or white brittle or crumbly, sometimes painful or foul smelly. It's primarily caused by dermatophytes, a type of mold that feeds on keratin, which is the protein in nails. Other fungi like yeast or non-dermatophyte non molds can also be responsible. Common entry points for this infection includes cracks or cuts in the skin near the nail, separation between nail and nail bad, nail trauma or damage. And you're more likely to do all of this if you have age-related changes, reduced circulation and slower nail growth, diabetes or peripheral vascular disease, weakened immune system, athletes, food or other fungal skin infections, hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating, poor, hy uh, poor hygiene, tight-fitting shoes or non-breathable footwear, frequent use of communal showers, pools or locker rooms nail conditions like psoriasis or eczema and it can affect one or more nails and may present as thickened nails discoloration brittle crumbly or ragged nails misshapen or distorted nail structure separation from nail bad which is known as onycholysis foul odor pain or discomfort which is usually seen advanced cases like this and dermatologists or podiatrists, they diagnose this condition by examining the nail for typical signs, taking nail clippings or scraping debris for microscopic analysis or culture, ruling out other conditions like psoriasis or bacterial infections. The treatment usually uh, done with oral terbinafine. We do this for 12 weeks and it's been shown to be clinically and mycologically uh, better than azole antifungals and griseofulvin and with similar rates of adverse events to placebo and other azoles. We have itraconazole, um, which is also effective, but cure rates are slightly lower than turbinefin. Topical agents like the ones you see here are supported high to moderate quality evidence for multi-moderate disease, but complete cure rates remain modest compared to oral therapy. Topical therapy is preferred for patients with contraindications to systemic agents or limited nail involvement, and the treatment agents treatment for these agents is prolonged up to 48 weeks, and patient adherence is critical for success. We also recommend adjunctive measures like regular nail debridement and trimming, which can enhance the treatment response and preventive strategies like shoe and suck disinfection, avoiding barefoot walking in communal areas, important due to high relapse rates. Device-based therapies such as lasers have not shown consistent benefits and are not recommended for primary therapy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our channel membership and watch our videos on Carbuncle, Furuncle, and other videos I'm going to put on screen. Join our channel membership. It helps a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.